he saved many people's lives during the wars. Mm -hmm. So whenever he saw the sun rising in the morning, he would say, Kibona lisedi, kilevo halisedi, meaning I see the light and I thank the light. He was grateful because his people were alive and he was still alive. So he was thanking the light for that. That's why we call this place today Lisedi. Lisedi. Yeah, Lisedi is a place of light. Mm -hmm. It's because of this man. Okay, so my friends, but such people use horses as their transport. They eat horses, they ride horses. They eat them, they eat them. Yeah, we call them Majapere. Do you know what it means? It means that they eat their own BMWs. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's go inside. After 100,000 miles. <laughs> Please come to the other side. I don't know if I can't open your I still hold it on you. I call you. Ready for me. So, my friends, uh, this is their fireplace. And I know that you'd wonder why is it built like this. It's because of the wind. Whenever the wind is blowing from this direction, they take a pot in the oh, wow. oh, 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 mm, They are very smart. Eh? So when you're a lady here, there is no excuse for not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> we should always be in time. Okay, so behind you there, that is the, uh, the house of our traditional doctor. We come here when we are sick and we identify the houses with the do doctor's office. Yeah. Yeah. The doctor, where doctor stays. Yes. Where only men meet and discuss problems affecting them. No women. Please come close to the side, just a little. And this is what we call a sleigh. Sleigh is what the horses use as their transport to fetch maize crops and vegetables. They pull it with cows. Something with four oh, yeah. legs. Mm -hmm. sure. So do you see where the idea of four by four come from? No, no wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the cow is four in front. Legs. Four legs. Four by four. four. The it cows cow. from oh, here. Four by four, four, yeah. four cows. Four. No, four <laughs> legs. Four <laughs> legs. <laughs> no, but no wheel. We're using only the cow to drag it. Yeah. Cow. Mm. And it's our traditional oh, four oh, by oh, four. Put on top of that. Yes, you see. It works like this. So this is their kettle crawl, <laughs> right? And in Kosa we call it Isiba. Lueni. Moreni. So women are on the right hand side because of protection. If you look at the direction of the door, when the enemies come, they push a door to the right. Women will be behind the door, protected. So this side, men will be exposed, and you are the one who should start fighting for the ladies. Mm. Protecting your loved ones, eh? Uh, Makes yeah. sense. Okay, so this is their fireplace. Whenever it's raining outside, they put the fire here, and the windows are for the smoke to go. Mm. Okay. And the lady here, she's busy grinding the maize to prepare the maize bar or the porridge. Some people call it corn. Corn, maize is the same thing, okay? Mm. To prepare the porridge. And this is their stage. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Okay, so now to say thank you to these people, may we all say Enkosi. 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 They are saying thank you too. So we are going out, but the rules are different. <laughs> Gentlemen, you go out first. Ooh. You clean up the place and make sure that no enemy is around. You put <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to mind your head and rain queen by the name of Queen Mujaji. She had a miracle of making the rain to fall and even to stop it. But unfortunately, she passed away. So mm. these are our guest houses. They are also part of the hotel. Now, let's greet the people in here by saying... Ah. All right, so let's go down there and let me show you some of the things. There are people around. Tobela! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
All right, so my friends, let's again greet these people. Let's say Tobela. Tobela. So this is their meeting place. Tobela. Maybe we call it Hall. Okay, <laughs> they all meet here when they've got problems. And we identify the page men by wearing the kilts. Scottish oh, yeah. kilts. Yeah. Huh? Porridge. And they're going to eat the amazed papa porridge with Mopani worms. Oh. Um, they eat this together with this. They make a nice picture. Is it worms? Yes, oh, worms. More honey worms. Okay, so looking at our mother here, the site, she's busy polishing the floor with cow dung. Oh. When you're a lady in bed, you do this three times every day. Mm. Remember, we never had paints, polish, or cement. Okay. So to keep the dust and the insects away, you're using see. powder. Mm. You mix it with water, you polish the floor, and as soon as it's dry, the mm. smell is gone. Mm. Okay? So here, when you marry a lady, you pay 13 cows. One, three. Mm. This one is reasonable with a discount on top. Yeah. yeah. in a semicircle. And the warrior there is busy spying for the Zulu village. Before you enter in this place, you ask him for permission. Now let's greet him by saying, Saubona. Saubona. Before we ask permission, come closer. Let me tell you about this. Throw it into the fire. So by so doing, you are asking for good luck and you're telling your ancestor about your journey and the people's occasion. So before we enter there, we have to do the very same thing. So with the final stone, it's stone the flag. So like I said that he's a sentry, now he's telling the chief that you get visitors. We're waiting for the chief to come and welcome us. Mm. Sanbonani is greeting us. We respond by saying, Yebo. Yebo. He's saying, I'm here to welcome you. Please welcome home. Come inside. This looks like a duck. <laughs> All right, so my friends, these are our guest houses in Zulu village. They are also part of the hotel. So when we greet in Zulu, we have these handshakes. It's Saubona Unjani Sikon. Simply meaning, yeah, simply meaning, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so let's thank the chief. Let's say, see ya bon. He's saying thank you too. So this is the Zulu's kettle kraal, and here, my friends, when you marry a lady, it's cheap. Because the Zulus say a man with no kettles is no man at all. But a man with lots and lots of kettles can marry as many wives as he possibly can. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here, when you marry a lady, my friends, you pay eleven. Okay. So let's greet the people in here by saying Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. So you say Saubona when you greet one person. When there are two or more, you say Sani Bona. And this is the Zulu kitchen. If you look at the sides, it has windows, yeah. ventilations for the smoke to go out. Mm -hmm. The doors are made so low to show respect to whoever it is. That because like I was saying that whenever you enter, you do what? Mm -hmm. Bend down. Yeah. So you only show respect. Mm -hmm. And the lady here, she's busy weaving the grass mats, okay? We sleep on it at night. During the day, we sit on the mat, okay? So this is the chief's house in Huenkulu. We identify it with the horns oh, on top. Yeah. Please come closer.